and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Leandra and I am so excited for today's create a video because we are finally creating the Harry Potter trio, Harry, Ron and Hermione as Sims. You guys have been requesting this for so long. Like this is literally one of my most requested videos, especially on my finished channel. I have gotten so many comments recently. Can you please do the Harry Potter characters? Can you do Ron, Harry and Hermione? So yes, of course. I love Harry Potter. Of course I do. Most people in our generation love Harry Potter. Of course not everyone, but I love it. I've read all the books. I have camped outside bookstores waiting for the releases of the new books. You know, I've seen all the movies. I think I've waited outside of a movie theater as well, like uh, during the night in winter <laughs> for the tickets to be released so I could be one of the first people to buy them and get really good seats for the premiere. So yes, I love Harry Potter. It's been a while since I've watched the movies or read the books, but I still love them so, so much. And it's definitely my favorite book series of all times. My favorite book, I think, was the sixth one, The Half-Blood Prince. And then the movies, I think my favorite was the fourth one. Anyways, nobody cares. I am creating the trio today, which I have never done before. I think I have tried to do this before, but then it turned out so horrible <laughs> that I just deleted the whole thing. I was like, I'm never doing this again. But then I tried it again today. I am so happy with how they all turned out. Hermione is slaying in this video. She looks so good, <laughs> if I say so myself. So I'm so happy with how they turned out and you guys know how I am with these creative sims where I'm trying to create real life people. I am such a perfectionist and if I can't look at the sim and immediately go like, oh yeah, that's supposed to be Harry, I go ahead and I delete the entire video because I just, I want them to look like the real people. Otherwise, there's no point to the video. So <laughs> I'm really happy with these and they all turned out pretty good. Obviously, I think everyone has found out that Ron is the hardest one to do. I don't know what it is. Harry turned out quite good and then Hermione or Emma Watson, whatever. I think she turned out so good in the end. I'm so, so happy with how she turned out. I know both Lil Simsy and Claire Siobhan recently did um, this video as well, but you guys have been requesting this so much and my sims look nothing like their sims So I thought I could do it as well And I was kind of imagining these characters as like the end of the series So in the last book or after that, so they're definitely older I created them as young adults. So this is probably like after they like graduated from Hogwarts I didn't download any like Hogwarts uniforms because I didn't want to and I wanted to just put them in a regular clothes. So obviously we're creating Harry first. I gave him a stubble. I did. I know he doesn't ha have a stubble in the series but like Daniel Radcliffe does and he looks so good in it. <laughs> so I really wanted to give him one and I thought it just made him look so much more like Harry. Of course we have the glasses and I didn't actually have the scar as a CC until after this video because I really wanted to go get it but I forgot it. So you can see it in the screenshots. I did give him the scar. I made him ambitious, good, and a genius. I was kind of struggling with the traits and the aspiration I went for. Leader of the pack, not necessarily what he wants to be, but kind of what he turns out to be. So here is Harry Potter. I think, I think he turned out quite fun, quite good, I think. What do you guys think? Let me know. And we're going to be moving on to Ron. Ronald Weasley, he was so hard to do. I don't know what it is. I've watched like other people's videos like ages ago or like when they've made them of the Harry Potter trio and it always seems that everyone struggles the most <laughs> with Ron. I don't know, he has such a unique face and especially his eyes. I don't think we can make those eyes in The Sims 4. Like, it's really hard to explain, but I tried my best. I do think you can look at him and go like, oh yeah, that's supposed to be Ron or Rupert Grint. You can recognize him, but <laughs> it's not as good as the other two and the hair as well. I think I try not to use the same hair as like every single other person because there are these base game hairs that kind of look like Harry's hair and Ron's hair. I went for a different one for Harry, but for Ron, I do think I end up using the hair that everyone's using just because it is so good. I wanted a hair that went almost over his eyes because his hair is kind of long, especially like at the end of the movie series, like uh, Rupert 
short, his hair is really long and it goes like over his eyebrows and his eyes a little bit. So I didn't have any hairs like that. So I ended up going with the same one that everybody uses. It's like a base game hair, but I gave him a beanie and I thought he looked so, so cute in the beanie and it definitely made him look more like Ron. So I was happy with that. Obviously, I was looking at like a bazillion pictures of them while I was making this So if there's any little pauses here where I don't do anything, it's because I was looking at the picture I did try to cut most of them out I think it took me around 40 minutes per sim to create these uh, Sometimes when I'm trying to create real life people, it can take me like two or three hours per sim So this actually turned out to be so much easier than I thought or maybe I'm just getting better at this I don't know because I have done this a bit more recently trying to create youtubers and movie or series characters tv show characters as sims so maybe i'm getting a little bit better at this because <laughs> it didn't take me three hours oh my god this video would have taken like nine hours to make holy heck no it only took me like two and a half three hours so i was quite happy with that so here is his hair i wish it was a little bit lighter of a ginger color this is a little bit dark in my opinion for Ron, but this is the only one we have. This is the lightest of the ginger colors. The next one is the yellow color. So I had to go with this one. And then of course the beanie. I thought it was really cute with this. And I was looking at this picture. I think it's from the last one or the second to last movie. And he has this shirt on that I thought just looked good on him. So I was trying to find something that looks similar to that. Cause I didn't really know what kind of clothes to put him in. And I did find um, a pretty cute like plated plaited shirt how do you say it i'm not really sure <laughs> but this one is not red but i thought he looked cute in it and we're just giving the boys some skinny jeans i didn't know what they wear i just wanted them to wear kind of like very casual not too uh, crazy clothing so that the clothing wasn't like the main point of this creator sim but more the actual sim trying to make it look like the character or the actor from the movie i think we made ron a goofball because because you guys know he's kind of a goofball and then we made him jealous because you know he has his insecurities in the books and he's kind of jealous of living in Harry's shadow but he does overcome that in the end and I also made him squeamish because he's scared of spiders and whatever else in the movies he's a little bit of a squeamish guy I was thinking maybe we'll do lazy because he can be lazy as well <laughs> in the series I think yeah but I went for those three and I gave him the soulmate aspiration because like we all know that he's in love with Hermione. <laughs> but I don't know, I, I couldn't think of any other aspiration that was good for him. So that was Ron Weasley. I think he turned out okay, but definitely the worst out of these three. And then lastly, we're making Hermione Granger or Emma Watson. I don't think I realized how flipping gorgeous Emma Watson is until I made this video. Like I was looking at the pictures of her. She is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, she's so gorgeous. <laughs> I don't know in Harry Potter like it definitely doesn't do her justice but then in other movies I'm like oh my gosh she's just so so pretty and I think this sim turned out so good I think it really does look like Emma I don't know what you guys think but uh, I definitely I definitely think it does and I go for this hair that definitely wasn't my plan I was looking for something because you know in the beginning of the movie series she has a fringe and really crazy curly hair I was looking for something similar to that but then in the end of the series she doesn't have that fringe anymore and her curls are less crazy so I was looking for something in between those two and then I, I just downloaded this new hair which is these kind of curly braids and I just randomly put it on her even though I, it wasn't what I was looking for and I was like holy crap she looks amazing amazing in this hair so I kept that hair you know this is kind of my interpretation of these guys as sims and how they would be like after the whole thing happened after <laughs> the book series ended etc so yeah how do you guys think she looks I don't know I just think she's so gorgeous like this sim is so gorgeous as well I think I think I did her justice but I've seen some other sims on the gallery that really look like Hermione as well so those are really good creations as well I think mine looks a little bit different but really really good and for her outfit I just wanted to go for something again very casual kind of cozy 
I think she wears kind of a lot of sweaters and scarves so I went for a sweater and a jacket on top and just some jeans and then for her traits I went for a bookworm obviously she's also a perfectionist because I think she kind of is in the movies right like she's trying to do everything in the school in Hogwarts and then I think I went for ambitious maybe did I go for ambitious now I've forgotten what I went for but hey here is this hair how good does it look on her I don't know I just I love it so so much it's not really anything like she had in the movies or anything these like huge braids but I just thought it was so so pretty I went for a minimal makeup she kind of has this like smoky brown eye bronzy eye in a lot of like photo shoots and red carpet looks that she's done so I went for that <laughs> talking about Emma Watson not Hermione and then yeah here we are just looking for her outfit and I think for her aspiration I went for renaissance sin so she wants to be good at a lot of things at once like Hermione does she is she's a genius oh I, I must have gone for genius wait what did I, what did I say genius bookworm and perfectionist I think those were the three <laughs> yeah genius because she is so so smart She's like the smartest girl or smartest student in the entire Hogwarts. Anyways, that is pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so, so much fun with this. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And definitely let me know down below in the comments what you thought about these Sims and if you think they look like the real people and which one was your favorite and who you would like to see me create next. If you're new here, consider subscribing as well. I post new videos every single day. And if you guys want any of these CC, check out my Tumblr. Link is in the description. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you are having a great day and a great weekend. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye!